So as I was writing the impact statement, one of the things that took a while to structure was how to open. Like I said, there's so many emotions and dynamics going into this. So I ended up with, I wish I could say that you've been dead to me for all these years, but that's far from the truth. You probably were starting to think that you really did get away from everything, like it was over a decade. But little did you know that while you were running away like a pig on a leash, I held the other end the whole time. Now, here we are. And then further down, I have Aaron, I hope I've gone from your biggest fantasy to your worst nightmare. That was also tough deciding how to end it because how do you wrap up all of these feelings? Like in all of it, but in the ending. I was really thinking about how this has affected like my abilities in general in life. So I ended up saying, as for any permanent or long-term disability, sure, my physical body works fine, but I will forever be unable to take back the innocence that you stole from my 13-year-old self or completely undo the damage done on all levels of my being. See the opportunities that I never got because I was busy thinking I had to keep everyone's lives together with this monstrous secret that was never mine to carry and I will never be able to look at you with any kind of respect. I hope he feels the deep-rooted anger that I actually have because I'm the only one in this situation that's actually realizing the severity of the problem and that I'm not sugarcoating it, I'm not gonna brush it off like, oh, well, that was a long time ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago, but I was a child then. I'm an adult now, despite what happened. Now you need to face your responsibilities and have accountability because I've had to do that by myself and full circle, here we are, it's your turn.